we're joined now by Alex de Groo from Panmure Gordon. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Um, yesterday, the idea was that Rupert Murdoch had ruthlessly sacrificed News of the World in order to gain the bigger prize of B Sky B. Yes. As more revelations come out, that is looking less and less likely. Do you think that that deal is going to go through? Uh, on balance, no. I think the probability is now below 50%. <clears throat> a week ago, if you'd asked me the same question, maybe two weeks ago, I would have said 80-90% probability. So I think the probability has contracted sharply and the share price, as you can see today, is off a good 7%. Now, the reason for that, of course, we've got this inquiry after inquiry. Is this going to be a case that uh, Rupert Murdoch decides that he cannot wait around for that? Or is it going to be a, a case that he sits there and waits for the government to say, finally say, no, we're not going to let you do the deal? Well, the indications are today that Jeremy Hunt has pushed back mm -hmm. his response to the consultation process to September. Until at least September, yes. At least September. Mm -hmm. That's two to three months. Mm -hmm. And lots can happen between now and then, of course. Mm -hmm. So I would say that to some extent... Um, it's the government or the regulator at large, Ofcom, mm -hmm. uh, which, has the, uh, which has the key role right now in terms of what happens next. And you don't think there's any chance that uh, in another bold move Murdoch would, dis would, would take this deal off the table? There's really no, no incentive for him to do that at the moment. I wouldn't have thought so on balance, but clearly we are really into uncharted territories. We certainly are. Now, the, the 1990 Broadcasting Act does say that a broadcasting licence can only be given to an owner who is a fit and proper person. Is Rupert Murdoch that fit and proper person today? That's the question for the regulator, I'm afraid. I'm a financial mm -hmm. analyst. But the suspicion must be that, on balance, the regulatory risk profile on the deal has increased mm -hmm. really much more significantly than anybody could have anticipated two to three weeks ago. Now, looking at uh, News International, we've got Rebecca Brooks. The latest uh, we've heard is that she did go into the newsroom at the News of the World today. She apologised to employees. She has not resigned. Um, she said, said that she attended a resignation and uh, wasn't accepted. David Cameron said he would have accepted that resignation. Mm. Why is she still there? Again, I suspect it would be the strength of her relationships with a number of the key executives mm. within the company. I think the, the most interesting question, frankly, is why they felt that the news of the world closure would be sufficient mm. to offset other concerns surrounding the Sky Deal. That was clearly one of the motives for doing that. Indeed. Well, they were hoping that perhaps they would reset the news That's agenda right. in right. favour of looking at news of the world and its closure rather than looking at um, all the, uh, all the right. claims around it. And in fact, Has it worked? Well, no, because all, all, it, all it's done, in fact, the aspiration was to draw a line in the sand. Mm. But all it's done is actually trigger more interest. And where does this leave Rupert Murdoch's position internationally? We've got Rebecca Brooks still there. Is James Murdoch's position, position weakened, and how is this playing outside of the UK? I, I don't know, but I think what is interesting is the extent to which this application of the term fit and proper mm -hmm. could be applicable in other territories. I simply don't know the answer, but you would suspect that it might be applicable elsewhere, mm -hmm. in which case it may pose some questions for international expansion plans. But to be clear, right now, this is about the acquisition of B-Sky B. Mm. So it, if you were to, sort of, if, you, if you, your percentages of how likely yes. B-Sky B is have actually gone down to, did you say less than 50%? Less than 50, as a result of what we've heard in the last 48 hours. And in view of all the evidence that we now have about the process at large, and just to be clear, mm -hmm. doing the same maths 10 days ago, two weeks ago, it would have been 80, 90% plus. OK, this is an amazingly fast-developing story. Yes. Uh, Alex DeGruy, thank you very much indeed for joining thank us. Thank you.